Hey everyone! Welcome back to another exciting episode of our space exploration series. Today, we're diving into three fascinating topics that have been capturing the imagination of scientists and space enthusiasts alike. We'll talk about the efforts to bring the Voyager probes back, the power source for NASA's upcoming Europa Clipper mission, and the incredible discoveries from the James Webb Space Telescope JWST, deep field images. Buckle up because we're taking a journey to the edges of our solar system and beyond. Let's get started. The Voyager probes, launched in 1977, have been humanity's farthest reaching messengers for over 40 years. Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 are currently in interstellar space, sending back invaluable data about regions we could only dream of. But what if we could bring these iconic spacecraft back home? While this sounds like something out of science fiction, the discussion of recovering these historic probes has started to gain traction. Scientists are exploring the theoretical challenges and technical possibilities, including the feasibility of extending the probe's power sources and using future spacecraft to retrieve them. Imagine the wealth of data they could carry back after decades in deep space. However, such an endeavor would be filled with extreme hurdles, distance, decaying systems, and even radiation damage. But the idea of seeing these pioneers return would be a testament to human ingenuity. Europa, one of Jupiter's moons, has long intrigued scientists because of its potential to harbor life beneath its icy crust. Enter the Europa Clipper, NASA's upcoming mission set to launch in 2024 to explore this frozen world. The spacecraft will be powered by solar arrays, a surprising choice considering Jupiter's distance from the Sun. The decision to rely on solar energy, rather than the more traditional radioisotope thermoelectric generators RTGs, used by missions like the Voyagers, was made to reduce costs and accommodate longer mission durations. These massive solar panels will capture sunlight, though weak at Jupiter's orbit, to keep the clipper running for years. With this cutting-edge power source, the Europa Clipper will search for signs of life by analyzing the Moon's surface and subsurface ocean. This mission could redefine our understanding of where life can exist beyond Earth. The James Webb Space Telescope JWST, has already made headlines with its stunning images and groundbreaking observations, but nothing has captivated the scientific community quite like its deep field images. These snapshots allow us to peer farther back in time than ever before, capturing galaxies as they appeared billions of years ago. The JWST's infrared capabilities enable it to see through cosmic dust, revealing the structure and formation of some of the earliest galaxies. What's even more mind-blowing is that some of these galaxies might be from the first few hundred million years after the Big Bang. With each new image, JWST is reshaping our understanding of the universe, giving us a more detailed look at the cosmic evolution that led to the creation of galaxies, stars, and planets. It's like having a time machine that lets us witness the birth of the cosmos. Now, let's dive into some of your burning questions. A common one is, what's the next big milestone for the Voyagers? Well, while bringing them back may be a distant possibility, the mission focus is on keeping them operational for as long as possible. Next, people are curious about the scientific goals of the Europa Clipper. The main aim is to analyze Europa's surface and subsurface ocean to determine whether the moon could support life. And finally, everyone wants to know, what's next for the JWST? The telescope is only just beginning its mission, and its future discoveries will likely include detailed studies of exoplanet atmospheres and even more deep field images that could answer fundamental questions about the origins of our universe. The future of space exploration is brighter than ever. The Voyagers, Europa Clipper, and JWST are more than just scientific missions, they are symbols of humanity's relentless quest for knowledge. Each of these projects has inspired generations of scientists, engineers, and dreamers who look up at the night sky and wonder what's out there. The Voyagers have shown us the vastness of space and the fragility of our own planet, while the Europa Clipper might answer the age-old question, are we alone in the universe? The JWST, with its stunning deep field images, is unraveling the mysteries of the cosmos. Together, these missions fuel the curiosity and imagination of people worldwide, 
reminding us that space exploration is not just about science, it's about the human spirit's desire to explore the unknown. One of the most remarkable features of the Voyager missions is the Golden Record, a time capsule of Earth's culture, sounds, and languages. Curated by a team led by Carl Sagan, this 12-inch gold-plated disc includes greetings in 55 languages, music ranging from Bach to Chuck Berry, and sounds from nature. The intention behind the Golden Record was simple, if an intelligent extraterrestrial civilization ever intercepts the Voyager probes, they'd have a snapshot of who we are. While the odds of this happening are minuscule, the Golden Record is a powerful symbol of hope and curiosity. It shows that, even when sending machines into the vast unknown, we wanted to share our humanity with the cosmos. As the Voyager spacecraft continue their journey beyond the solar system, one of the biggest challenges they face is dwindling power. The probes use radioisotope thermoelectric generators, RTGs, powered by plutonium-238. While RTGs are incredibly reliable, the radioactive decay means the energy supply weakens over time. Currently, both voyagers are rationing power by shutting down non-essential instruments. By 2030, even the critical systems may cease to function. This slow fade-out is expected, but the data they've already gathered, and will continue to send back until that point, has far exceeded expectations. Scientists are now in a race against time to maximize every bit of data before the probes go silent. NASA's Europa Clipper mission is not the first spacecraft to visit Jupiter and its moons, but it will be the most detailed. Previous missions, like Galileo and Juno, gave us breathtaking views and valuable data, but they were limited in how much they could explore Europa. Galileo, for example, provided our first glimpses of the moon's icy surface, while Juno is currently focusing on Jupiter's atmosphere and magnetosphere. The Europa Clipper is specifically designed to study the moon's potential for life by focusing on the subsurface ocean that may exist beneath its ice. Equipped with a suite of instruments to measure magnetic fields, ice thickness, and surface composition, the Clipper will go deeper, both literally and metaphorically, than any mission before it. One of the most exciting capabilities of the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, is its ability to study exoplanets in unprecedented detail. Before JWST, scientists could detect exoplanets primarily through indirect methods like the transit method, where a planet's passage in front of its host star causes a dimming of light. But with JWST, researchers can now analyze the chemical composition of exoplanet atmospheres. By observing the light that passes through these atmospheres, JWST can detect water vapor, carbon dioxide, methane, and other key indicators of habitability. This level of detail could help us answer one of humanity's biggest questions, are we alone in the universe? Although the Europa Clipper will conduct detailed flybys of Europa, actually landing on the moon remains a challenge for future missions. Europa's surface is covered in thick ice, and scientists believe the potential subsurface ocean lies miles below. Not only does this make it difficult to land, but the environment is incredibly hostile. Radiation from Jupiter bombards Europa, meaning any lander would need significant protection. Despite these challenges, NASA and the European Space Agency ESA, are discussing potential future missions, including landers or even ice-penetrating submersibles that could directly search for signs of life beneath the surface. The dream of exploring Europa's ocean is still alive, but it's going to require innovative engineering. The Voyager missions haven't just influenced science, they've become icons in pop culture. From documentaries to novels, and even TV shows like Star Trek, The Next Generation, the Voyagers have captured the public's imagination. The famous image of Earth taken by Voyager 1, known as the pale blue dot, has been a symbol of our planet's fragility and the unity of humankind. Artists, filmmakers, and musicians have used the Voyagers as metaphors for exploration, perseverance, and the human desire to reach beyond our limitations. These spacecraft are more than scientific instruments, they've become cultural symbols of our place in the universe. You might wonder, how can solar power work in deep space, so far from the sun? It's a valid question, and NASA has devised an ingenious solution for the Europa Clipper. 
The spacecraft will be equipped with some of the largest solar arrays ever built for an interplanetary mission. Although sunlight at Jupiter's orbit is only about 4% as strong as it is at Earth, the Clipper's efficient solar panels will convert even this weak sunlight into energy. This will power the spacecraft's instruments, propulsion, and communication systems as it studies Europa. The use of solar energy instead of nuclear power shows how far we've come in developing sustainable technologies for space exploration. The James Webb Space Telescope's infrared capabilities set it apart from its predecessor, the Hubble Space Telescope. Infrared light can pass through dense clouds of gas and dust, which are opaque to visible light. This allows JWST to peer into regions of space where stars are being born, something Hubble couldn't do as effectively. The telescope's infrared sensitivity also means it can detect heat signatures from some of the coldest objects in the universe, such as distant exoplanets and icy moons. By capturing light from these hard-to-see regions, JWST is providing us with a whole new perspective on the birth and evolution of stars, planets, and galaxies. The Voyager missions have transformed our understanding of the solar system in countless ways. Among their greatest discoveries was the realization that moons of the outer planets are far more geologically active than anyone expected. For example, Voyager 1 revealed volcanic activity on Jupiter's moon Io, while Voyager 2 showed evidence of geysers on Neptune's moon Triton. The probes also discovered new moons, rings, and complex magnetic fields around planets like Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. These findings not only changed how we view these distant worlds but also set the stage for future exploration of moons like Europa and Enceladus, which may harbor life beneath their icy surfaces. The journey to the launch of the James Webb Space Telescope was a long and complex one. Originally planned for a 2010 launch, JWST faced numerous delays due to its highly intricate design and technological challenges. The telescope's massive primary mirror, made up of 18 hexagonal segments, had to be folded to fit inside the launch rocket and then carefully unfolded once in space. The complexity of JWST's instruments, combined with the need for precise alignment and extremely cold temperatures for the infrared sensors, meant that any small mistake could jeopardize the mission. But after years of setbacks, JWST finally launched on December 25, 2021, marking the beginning of a new era in space exploration. The Voyager missions provided us with the first close-up views of the outer planets, dramatically reshaping our understanding of these distant worlds. Before Voyager, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune were little more than blurry dots in telescopes. Voyager 1 and 2 gave us detailed images of Jupiter's swirling atmosphere and discovered its great red spot. They also revealed Saturn's complex ring system and provided the first images of Uranus and Neptune, showing that these ice giants were far more complex than previously thought. The missions also revealed that these planets have dynamic weather systems and magnetic fields, expanding our understanding of planetary science in ways that still resonate today. One of the most exciting discoveries about Europa is the evidence suggesting a subsurface ocean beneath its icy crust. Scientists first suspected this after observing Europa's surface, which is riddled with cracks and ridges. These features look strikingly similar to ice on Earth that covers liquid water. Further analysis of Europa's magnetic field confirmed that something beneath the surface was likely conducting electricity, and the best explanation was a salty, liquid ocean. Europa's ocean could be up to 60 miles deep, containing more water than all of Earth's oceans combined. If life exists anywhere else in our solar system, Europa is a prime candidate. JWST is just getting started, and the discoveries it's poised to make over the next decade could change the course of astronomy. One of its key future goals is to study the atmospheres of exoplanets, specifically looking for biosignatures, chemical markers that suggest the presence of life. It will also continue its deep field observations, peering farther into the universe's past and uncovering galaxies formed just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. JWST will also collaborate with other missions, like NASA's upcoming Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope, to create the most detailed and expansive cosmic maps ever produced. 
we're only scratching the surface of what JWST will teach us. The Europa Clipper represents a pinnacle of modern space engineering. Designed to withstand the harsh radiation environment near Jupiter, the spacecraft has been built with radiation-hardened electronics and a specially shielded vault to protect its sensitive instruments. Its solar arrays, despite the weak sunlight at Jupiter's orbit, will generate enough power to sustain the Clipper's complex operations. The spacecraft is also equipped with advanced navigation systems that will allow it to make dozens of close flybys of Europa, each time collecting crucial data about the Moon's surface and potential ocean. This mission is not just about exploration, it's a testament to human ingenuity in overcoming extreme engineering challenges. As the Voyager probes drift farther into interstellar space, they are entering a realm where no human-made object has gone before. While their instruments will eventually shut down, the spacecraft will continue their silent journey for millennia. Long after their power fades, the Voyagers will still carry their golden records, floating through the galaxy like messages in a cosmic bottle. In a few billion years, they may pass near other star systems, possibly outlasting the human race itself. These probes are humanity's ambassadors to the stars, carrying the legacy of our curiosity, creativity, and desire to explore the unknown. Beyond the planets themselves, Voyager's flybys provided the first detailed images and data from the moons of the outer planets. Perhaps the most stunning discovery was on Jupiter's moon, Io, where Voyager 1 witnessed active volcanoes, the first time volcanic activity had been observed anywhere other than Earth. The mission also revealed the icy moons of Saturn, like Enceladus, which would later be found to have geysers spouting water vapor. Voyager 2's encounter with Neptune's moon Triton revealed geysers erupting from its surface, suggesting geological activity even in the coldest parts of our solar system. These revelations showed that moons can be just as dynamic and interesting as the planets they orbit. Designing the Europa Clipper mission required overcoming several significant challenges. One of the most difficult was how to safely navigate the harsh radiation environment around Jupiter. The mission team had to plan a flight path that minimized the time the spacecraft spends in the planet's most intense radiation belts. To do this, they designed a series of highly elliptical orbits that bring the clipper close to Europa for short periods, then swing it far away from Jupiter to allow its instruments to rest and avoid damage. The spacecraft will complete about 45 flybys of Europa, gathering as much data as possible while keeping its systems safe. One of the most mysterious aspects of the universe is dark matter, the invisible substance that makes up about 27% of the universe's mass. Though we can't see dark matter directly, its presence is inferred from the gravitational effects it has on galaxies. The James Webb Space Telescope is uniquely equipped to study dark matter by observing the large-scale structure of the universe. By analyzing how galaxies move and how light bends around massive objects, a phenomenon known as gravitational lensing, JWST will help astronomers map dark matter and understand its distribution. This could provide critical clues to the nature of this elusive material. One of the most remarkable aspects of the Voyager missions is that they are still communicating with Earth more than 40 years after their launch. This longevity is due to a combination of robust engineering and careful management of the spacecraft's power systems. The RTGs that power Voyager 1 and 2 have slowly decayed over time, but NASA engineers have managed to keep the spacecraft operational by shutting down non-essential systems. The Deep Space Network, DSN, a collection of radio antennas on Earth, is still able to receive weak signals from the probes as they continue their journey through interstellar space. It's a testament to the durability and foresight of the mission's designers. Europa's thick ice shell is one of the most fascinating features in our solar system. It's believed to be between 10 and 15 miles thick, covering a liquid ocean that could be more than 60 miles deep. But what makes the ice shell so interesting is its potential to harbor life. Cracks and ridges on Europa's surface suggest that the ice is constantly shifting and moving, which means there could be a heat source beneath, possibly hydrothermal vents similar to those found on Earth's ocean floors. These vents provide the energy necessary to support ecosystems in total darkness, making them a prime target for future exploration. 
The James Webb Space Telescope is revolutionizing our understanding of the early universe. By observing infrared light from distant galaxies, JWST is allowing scientists to look back in time to the first few hundred million years after the Big Bang. This period, known as the Cosmic Dawn, is when the first stars and galaxies began to form. JWST's incredible sensitivity means it can detect the faint light from these early structures, giving us a glimpse of how the universe evolved from a hot, dense state to the complex web of galaxies we see today. These observations could provide answers to some of the biggest questions in cosmology, including how the first galaxies came together and what role dark matter played in their formation. Welcome to Blessovia Science TV, where we take you on an exhilarating journey through the cosmos and unravel the mysteries of science. We are excited to offer you the opportunity to become a valued member of our ever-growing community of cosmic enthusiasts and knowledge seekers. Exclusive access to cosmic content. As a member of Blisovia Science TV, you will gain exclusive access to a treasure trove of cosmic content, including documentaries, interviews with leading scientists, space missions updates, and awe-inspiring visualizations of the universe, live queue, and a sessions with experts. Your membership will grant you the chance to participate in live queue and a sessions with renowned scientists, astronomers, and space explorers. Get your burning questions answered by those who push the boundaries of human knowledge. Embark on a journey that spans the cosmos and join us in unraveling the secrets of the universe. Become a Blasovia Science TV member today and together we will reach for the stars. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, and share. Don't forget to leave your comment.